this is Maria Vega with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. Today I would like to talk a bit about bulerías. Bulerías is going to be the theme of the very first of my workshop series of live teaching in central London. So please, if you want to join my classes, follow the link underneath so you can find all the information on how to join me. What is Bulerías? Bulerías is a flamenco style which comes from the family of the 12 compass rhythm, let's say. Uh, it shares the rhythmical structure with the solea, the solea por Bulerías, the alegrías, and then the bulerías. The difference is really that the bulerías is more up-tempo style. Although there's quite a lot of controversy about this, bulerías is known to be originated in Jerez during the 19th century. Originally as a fast, upbeat ending to the solea or alegrías. Although there is also a notable contribution from Seville and Cadiz. Some of the experts in flamenco history say that the name Bulerías comes from the Spanish word burlar, meaning to mock, or from bullería, bulla, meaning racket, shouting. Bulerías is the style which permits the greatest freedom for improvisation. As for the dance, the Buleria has break away from private family gatherings to make a name for itself on the stage, as a coda of the solea, or as a climatic closing number, or frequently as an encore. This is a moment also called fin de fiesta, where the whole company joins in, gathering around forming a circle or a corro and performing by fiesta where not only the dancers perform but also the singers and the guitar players and all the rest of the musicians really. How about the compass, the rhythm? As I said before, we call it the family of 12 because we are counting in a pattern of 12 with the accents in the number three, number six, number eight, number ten, and number twelve. Sometimes the numbers eleven and twelve are also called one and two. So now I'm going to show you with the clapping an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can say with the 1 and 2 at the end. Let's try. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2. But the best person to speak about the Bulerias rhythm is my friend Demi a drummer and percussionist which also teaches in central London. So let's see what Demi has to say about the Bulerías Compass. Okay, for Solea, um, Alegría and Bulerías, basically, we're going to play in 12-8, okay? But basically in Solea it's going to be very, very slow, like Alegrías go in the middle, more or less, and um, Bulerías goes quite fast, okay? Basically, we're gonna learn that it's like a 12 um, beats on a bar, but basically in flamenco we start counting like un dos, no? Or 11, 12. Basically, the one is gonna be the 12, okay? Instead to go one, two, three, or whatever. Basically, go 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we're going to do bulerías. It's quite fast, okay? And we're going to put the metronome 200 beats per minute. Let's go. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 1. Okay, when we play pulerías, um, we don't play sometimes with the feeling of 12-8 um, all the time, no? Like um, putting the accents in 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can do this, but sometimes we have different bolerías. For example, in Jerez, they play in 6, 8. We don't play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? And sometimes we can put as well in three fours, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, or in two fours, one, two, 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 after we go four three fours, and after we go six two fours, like always it's gonna be like twelve. Okay, let's go with that. Siete ocho nueve diez. Two sixes. Two sixes. Two sixes. Two sixes. Two sixes. basic simple steps that they are very useful to combine with many other steps when you are dancing bulerías. This is going to be the entrada, the paso de bulería, the llamada por bulerías, and the subida. This first step is the entrada por bulerías and it's very useful to move towards the place where you want to start actually dancing. So we're going to start with the left leg in the number 12. So first is the whole foot on the floor and then the right will be just this part, the toes. Okay, so and then we swap. 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, you can see from the back. 11, 12. 1, 2, 12. Now with a bit of movement. 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The second step is called Paso de Bulerías and can be used as a transition. Complicated, adding up a bit more in the middle. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put it from the back. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. For the second version, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, this is a basic llamada por bulerías. This is quite a standard step. So, starting with your left, three golpes. 1, 2, 3. Then, toes. A step and heel. 
toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, heel, go. Once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do it from the back with the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11, 12. So it's from the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now an example of a subida, which you will do when you want to end up a footwork combination in bulerías. This is just an example of a simple one. So starting with your left, 11, 12, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A bit faster, as Boleria is supposed to be. 11, 12. Eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I really hope you found this video useful, and I hope you can give me a like if you like it. Also, please remember to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos I'll be uploading. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you either here or in class in central London very soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.